More than 30 million people worldwide are now living with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. More than one million of them are children. Here in North Carolina, there are more than 200 children under the age of 13 who have HIV. Dr. Tom Linden has the story of one of them from Eastern North Carolina. Mama, look! He's young, energetic, and at 10 years old, Daniel Roberson is doing what until recently few people thought possible, surviving as a child with the virus that causes AIDS. In the beginning of the epidemic, um, I, I would say at least 50% were dead within the first year of birth. But new treatments for HIV are giving patients like Daniel a better chance. Like Daniel, his mother Debbie Lynch also is infected with the virus. Well, he cries with me when I cry, you know, when I feel bad and feel depressed and I cry, he'll cry with me. You know, then he'll say, Mom, it's going to be all right, you know. In many ways, Daniel's life is all right. He attends school and has hopes for the future. I would like to be a bus driver when I grow up. Hello. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Dr. Dan. How are you? As Daniel grows up, he needs monthly checkups with his doctor. I have a little muffin. He's growing and and he's starting to have independence and wanting to take control. And one of the issues that we're facing right now is he doesn't want to take his medicines. Once, twice a day. Very good. The medicines Daniel takes, a total of 12 pills a day, often upset his stomach and make him feel sick. But without them, his doctor says he would have little hope of fighting the virus that's attacking his body. And you're not hiding any of your pills anymore? Nope. I'm so proud of you. This is a great milestone. Good job, Daniel. Over time, HIV destroys the immune system, making it difficult for the body to ward off other infections. It's only once these other infections become severe and the immune system breaks down that a patient is diagnosed with AIDS. So for patients like Daniel, the key is combating the virus with powerful medicines which do have unpleasant side effects. My personal reaction is like, I want to stop this virus from multiplying and or replicating and I want to make him healthy. Then, then I stop and think, gosh, if he's really having all these side effects, and he's not feeling good, then what is his life like? For the first five years of his life, Daniel didn't know he had HIV. That's because neither he nor his mother had been tested. And once very young children are tested, results are sometimes kept from them. One of his friends told him that his mother uh, told him he cannot play with Daniel anymore because Daniel has AIDS. Daniel and his mother has AIDS. So Daniel went home crying and said, like, you know, they don't want to play with me, and what is AIDS? And unfortunately, this is how Daniel found out that he has an infection. To give children a more positive outlook, the UNC clinical team that works with young HIV patients uses stuffed animals and picture books. The hope is to provide children with the knowledge and skills they need to cope with HIV. Even though Daniel understands what HIV is, other kids his age sometimes don't. He's alienated, he is shunned, he is called AIDS boy. Um, it's, it's a tremendous burden for him as, as well as other kids. And that makes Daniel sad. Tell me what that sadness is all about. about me not having a lot of friends and a lot of kids picking at me. Despite the teasing, Daniel likes to socialize with others, but whether he's sharing food or playing, one thing his friends don't have to worry about is contracting HIV from him. The virus is not spread through casual contact. Daniel probably contracted the virus from his mother during birth. When Daniel was born, little could be done to prevent the spread of the virus from infected mothers to their babies. But now, 
new treatments can prevent that from happening in many cases. We now know that if a woman takes anti-HIV drugs during her pregnancy, this risk of transmitting, giving the virus to the baby is reduced significantly. You know, sometimes women don't have a lot of prenatal care and they'll come in late. And even then, it's good to start the, the, the therapy that even a little bit of therapy to the mother uh, reduces the, the transmission. While the development of this preventive therapy has come too late to benefit patients Are like Daniel, rashes? both he and his mother Day keep the faith. Gun is busy, his gun is a real, a heart of my steps in your words.